as you'd be aware, the, the used vehicle industry has grown over the years. And most persons ca can stay within their own homes and go onto the internet and order a vehicle. When that vehicle gets into the port, it remains in the custody of the port until the customs duties and um, slaspers duties and other requirements are met. Of late, um, what we had been doing when the industry started was to ensure that all used vehicles leaving the port are insured. And um, as well, you have the, the authorized dealers. They have a separate arrangement. They have dealer plates and they, have, um, they normally keep a bond with the customs department. So all imported vehicles that go to dealerships go directly into a bond. But the issue of registration of vehicles is really um, something that is connected to the used car industry. Mm -hmm. um, we have had and been in discussion in the Ministry of Infrastructure, Transport Services, and they have indicated to us that they would like Slaspers cooperation on the enforcement of those laws. So essentially going forward, um, some of the procedures at the port will change. And um, first and foremost, all vehicles leaving the port thereafter will have to be issued with a sticker. So before you can leave the port as part of the new procedures, you would need to go to transport board, register your vehicle, be issued with a registration sticker, issued with a license plate number, proceed to for the production of those plates and for those plates to be affixed as well as the sticker affixed to the windscreen before your vehicle can leave the port. We, we found it necessary to make those pronouncements, have this press conference this morning so that the public could be fully aware because we know the implications of it. We know initially there will be some um, pushback persons being accustomed to things happening in a particular way. We are issuing new procedures and as such we would like for the public to be fully aware of those procedures and that's why we have asked for your assistance in. So just to reiterate that um, once the persons have satisfied the requirements of the customs department, paid all the, the, the duties and the, and the taxes, they would have been issued by the customs department with a receipt as well as a document for the transport board. They would then need to proceed to the transport board for the registration of that vehicle before you can leave the port. Plates have to be affixed. Um, stickers are fixed to windscreen, which also means that they will have to come to us with proof of the document from the transport board showing that this number was assigned to you. Just to ensure that we, we're not allowing anybody to leave with any bogus plates or any plate that you had from another vehicle. It's important that you come to us with your documentation from transport board, from customs, and to show that you are now cleared to go. The Motor Vehicles and Road Traffic Act, it specifies that all vehicles in St. Lucia has to be registered, except if it is one of the vehicles exempted from registration. And um, I could just give an example of a vehicle exempted from registration would be the Governor General's vehicle. Yeah, it is one of the class of vehicles that's exempted, and it also indicates that vehicles that um, are in possession of dealers under a dealer's general license. So apart from that, all other motor vehicles has to be registered. And therefore, for it to be on the road, it needs to be registered. So when it's leaving the docks, that vehicle ought to be registered. And um, sometimes we see that they have the insurance, but no registration. And the owners or the drivers, they would use it like for days. And you would, you would just see that it has no, you just see some marks that it came with, but it has no registration plate and so on. I am also aware that arrangements had been made by the licensing department where a DM plate, a demonstration plate, would have been issued if that vehicle is insured because you may find that um, some insurances would cover you would have a cover note for a day for that vehicle and um, a number would be assigned to that vehicle a dm plate 
where but the but for that plate it's only effective for that particular day and the aim was to take that vehicle to a garage to be in, inspected that was the aim however um the inspectors of motor vehicles i think they are permitted now to come to the docks to inspect the vehicle so there's i could say there's no need for the dm plate if your vehicle is in, inspected it is fully insured those vehicles need to be registered and licensed to be on the road it is the same process as getting the dm plate mm -hmm. the dealer's general license they have a, a d but the dm is a demonstration plate where it is usually issued for a day and the aim is just to take that vehicle from the wharf to a garage mm -hmm. that is that is just the aim of it y yes the legislation it says that it is an offense for anyone to use a motor vehicle on a road, it didn't say drive, use, to use a motor vehicle on a road without it being registered. And that we are seeing all the time. Now we have had encounters where police officers had cause to detain the vehicle without a plate after it had left, sometimes two days after it had left the wharf and nothing has been done. So we are, what we want to see going forward is that the requisite registration and all documents in place when that vehicle leaves the wharf because it can be done the inspectors are coming there to inspect the vehicle after you get your inspection you go to your insurance and then to the licensing department the um, law also permits a visitor to use a motor vehicle for a period not exceeding three months without it being registered but it has to use its foreign plate of course it needs to be um, insured on the on the road now that is a the visitor who may use their foreign plate for a period not exceeding three months. For a vehicle to be used on a road, it has to be registered and affixed to it the prescribed plate that was assigned to that vehicle. If um, under the Traffic Act also, the police has the power to impound such vehicle, and this we will do, and the aim is for the prevention of crimes and so on. So this, um, I, Mr. I'm happy that Mr. Um, Francis. Francis has indicated that they will take a requisite steps to ensure that vehicles leave the port with the license plate. That um, I think we, so we won't have any much issues on the road dealing with persons who said, okay, I got it late, it was 4.30 and, and I did not have time to get a plate and so on. So you would need to get everything in order so that that vehicle is on the road. Sometimes um, if this vehicle is in an accident and it doesn't have a pay, we do not know which vehicle it is. Okay, so the, the license plate is important and that both front and rear plate to be affixed to the vehicles. Um, but generally over the, I think over the past couple of years, we have had um, vehicle inspectors assigned to the port who come to the port to provide that service. And that was all, initially it was done so that the, the insurance of those vehicles could have been um, um, conducted prior to the vehicle leaving. But now um, it's, it's going to be the same. There's not going to be any major issue in terms of, of registering those vehicles. Well, just to reiterate the timeline, the date for implementation, the 7th, um, we will be ensuring that persons who are clearing vehicles will need those documents as well as the plates and the sticker. So we solicit your assistance in ensuring that the public is properly notified of this development mm -hmm. and that um, basically we'll be collaborating with the Ministry of Infrastructure as well as the Traffic Department in ensuring that the laws are adhered to. Yeah, and um, just to inform the members of the public, especially since um, Port Authority would be assisting in um, preventing vehicles from leaving the docks without the plates. If you are found without a plate or your vehicle not registered, we would enforce the law by impounding that vehicle until um, you could rectify the situation and take them to court for, for it. Mm -hmm.